key's stuck. Which? Oh. That's no good. It's just stuck. Jiggle it. You jiggle it. Try jiggling each other. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Shit. Couldn't you substitute it with something? What? Use a different key. Instead of O? Yes. Too much. You know when you went back over and that's it. It wouldn't work. It would interrupt, you know, the flow of my writing. Son of a bitch. You mind? Let me look. Obviously. Something in there? What? Is there something stuck in there? What would be stuck in there? What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? I was typing, wasn't How I? How hard did you hit the key? I wasn't attacking it. But you were angry? What difference does it make if I... The key is jammed. I'm just trying to get the fact. There's only one fact. It's a jammed fucking key. Easy. I'm sorry I'm not the one with the Why perfect Why not take it key. apart? Take it apart. The machine. The typewriter. Is there something else you think we might be talking about? What am I supposed to take it apart with? <laughs> <laughs> Has this ever happened to yours? No, never. Perhaps you're doing it wrong. <laughs> the writing. Yeah, how's that? You're doing it at all. <clears throat> what now? Cut my hand. How'd you manage that? Screwdriver. Well, Pop never taught you how to use his tools. My father taught me how to fight and drink. What did your father teach you? Good line. Use it in your, uh, thing. My novel? If that's what you call it. Fight. How exactly is one cut by a screwdriver? Perhaps it was avenging the typewriter. It slipped. <laughs> Sad. It's fine. I might have something. I'm all right. Itch or something. It's oh, fine. Never mind. I forgot one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well. Well, what? Did you fix it? The typewriter. Yes. No. Try hitting it with the hammer. Come over here and hold her steady for me. You're a natural. That's why I'm a writer. Generous. What, admitting my flaws? Calling yourself a writer. You know your digs are as repetitive as your work. Oh, you've read them? That's generous. What's that? Red. God, fuck! Damn it. It's good to laugh at yourself. No, it uh, builds character. Reminded me of uh, you guys know the one about the carpenter in the church. What? It's a joke. Couldn't have guessed. Do you know it? Spare me. It's uh. Okay, so uh, there's this carpenter. He's hired to fix the church, you know, the roof of the church. And while he's working, you know, he misses. He strikes his thumb with his hammer and he cries out, "Damn it, I missed!" And the minister, you know, the minister of the church, he uh, corrects him. He says, "You shouldn't say a thing like that in a church." Carpenter just ignores him, or he says, uh... You sure? Yeah, you know, he ignores him. And he just goes back to his work, and, uh, you know, a couple seconds later, strikes his thumb again. Damn it, I missed! The minister corrects him again, you know? Carpenter just ignores him. Keeps doing his I work. I what happens own... next. A couple of seconds later, misses again, strikes his thumb. Damn it, I missed! And he howls this time, you know? He howls because he's, he's hit his thumb, what, three or four times while he's working, and, uh, this time, the minister goes to correct him, but this time, the carpenter turns back and he says, uh, why? What's gonna happen? You know, a bolt of lightning gonna come down and strike me dead? And the minister, all sassy, all matter-of-factly, you know, like a minister, he says, uh, you know what? That's exactly what's gonna happen. Carpenter ignores him, goes back to his work, couple of seconds later, strikes his thumb again, Sounds damn like it, I missed. Hang carpenter. on a second, hang on, this is, a, uh, uh, this is it. Okay, so, so damn it, I missed, and then, uh, and then all of a sudden, Bolt of lightning comes down from the sky through the roof of the church and it strikes the minister dead. And the carpenter, he's just looking around, you know? And all of a sudden, he hears this large, booming voice clamor down from the clouds and it says, Damn it, I missed. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. It's good, right? Don't quit your day job. <laughs> Any jackass can kick down a barn. It takes a good carpenter to build one. No, it was a church. Jesus. And the joke he was building. Never mind. Are you even listening? Are you calling me a jackass? It is in the name, technically speaking. <laughs> Favorite synonym for disuse? Destitute. Obsolescence. Hmm. Which did he choose? 
Mine or his? Yours is this way. Destitute or obsolescence? Oh. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> what does it matter? I'm curious. I haven't decided. But you kept typing. Yes. Which means you've gone ahead and made a decision. What difference does it make? Unless you use your substitution method. Where are you getting off on this? Humor me. You're being childish. It's a simple answer to a simple then question. Then you aren't getting anything Mother out of Mother fuck! I beg your pardon! This fucking thing! Me? No, the machine! Perhaps it's trying to tell you something. Yeah, what's that? I don't know. It's speaking to me. You ought to listen closer. I'd like to think I know what it's telling me, if it's got anything to say at all. <laughs> what? You. Me? If. Me if what? You use it too much. What? If. The word? Yes. So? It's irritating. I'm irritating? Your word choice. What's the matter with my word choice? You really are quite thick, aren't you? What? Weak. Weak. Be certain or say nothing at all. If implies doubt, doubt implies weakness, etc., etc. So you're saying once you never doubt anything? That's right. Then how are we supposed to make decisions, you know, choices? Doubt and deliberation are two entirely different things. To deliberate means that one is well informed, knowledgeable about whatever it is they're attempting to deliberate over. Doubt means simply that you're insecure and know nothing of which you speak or <laughs> attempting how, to decide. How are we you supposed fall into to the latter? The dumb half? Your words, not mine. You're telling me you've never doubted anything in your entire life. I have made choices through deliberation. But you haven't doubted anything, you know, regretted anything. Well, regret is different. Uh, as a child. As a child? Your childhood, yes. What about it? You don't regret things you did as a child? Something dumb, brash, immature? No, you've changed it. Changed what? Your argument. No, I've simply made a You're point. You're speaking now of doubting past action. Regret, guilt, they're not the same. The same as? Making a choice. Well, so you have. Doubt things I did as a child? Yes. No. Bullshit. Being a child does not count. Oh, what does that mean? No one is a child. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? People are not children. Of course people are. They're, you know, we're born, we become a child, thus we are. We grow out of it. But while we're children, we're still someone. We had consciousness then and now, recognition, awareness, the same one. I remember my childhood. Children are no one because they lack the, the capacity, the, the propensity to realize that they could be anyone, whoever that may be. You're talking about maturity? Or lack thereof. So by that virtue, what's adolescence? A crossroad. <laughs> Too poetic. A bitch. Oh, that's better. Futile. Futile. You was wasted on the young. Okay, what does that mean? Am I speaking in code? No, I'm just trying to... Every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up. What? Picasso. What about him? He said that. Every child. No, he didn't. Sure he did. It's a famous quote. He never said that. You don't know that. Yes, I do. It's a famous quote. I'm sorry. I knew it's him. He never said that. Stop making <laughs> shit up. OK, fine. How is your adolescence futile? I was no more special than anyone else. Everyone's adolescence is futile. That isn't true. Sure it is. No, not everyone's. It's yours? Not everyone's. Was yours? What? Your adolescence futile. I don't remember. Good enough. Probably. OK, so three out of millions and billions? Not exactly an accurate census. Adolescence is futile because it is the last place in our lives before we, we willingly succumb to the monotony and the mundane. And because we, we grow old and we grow tired. And we run out of energy to combat the futility. And somewhere along the line, we begin to think, maybe this is all how it's supposed to happen. So perhaps it's put into our heads. Adolescence is futile because it's the only time in our lives when we would be able to turn our backs on the inevitability of it all, and yet we do not because we are foolish. Adolescence. Children. The keys are in the ignition, but there's no one to drive the car. Adolescence is futile because it's the last place the soul would feel no shame for jumping off of the bridge. So says you. I didn't jump off of a bridge. I thought the bridge was a metaphor. Did you? You know, you're kind of a bastard. Thank you. You inspire something in him. Inspire is a strong word. Accurate? Generous. Possible? Ignite. What? You ignite something in me. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. I'll still take it. Don't flatter yourself. We've digressed. From? Bridges. You want to keep talking about bridges? So to speak. 
You are an incredible distraction. You are no better than he is. When a man is faced head on with a charging lion, he does not run or else he is not a man. Cross paths with many lions lately? There is always a lion. I think you like me. I don't like anyone. You like her. Who? Her. Me? Her? <laughs> no, he doesn't. See? <laughs> I think you have a soft spot for me. Oh? You gave me your tools. I lent you my tools so that you would shut up. And it worked for a moment, and then it ceased to your ineptitude. Give them back. I like to think of them as a peace offering. When I offer you peace, you'll know it. When? Don't hold your breath. What would happen if I did? <laughs> See? What? You enjoy me. I tolerate you. Keep telling yourself that. Y you know, I was alone for a while, and then she got here. And we were both alone for a while, because she understands how to have a conversation with me. <laughs> and then you got here, and that was all shot to shit. And how exactly does one have a conversation with you? One begins by closing one's mouth. Well, that isn't a conversation. I'm not a conversationalist. You're a pessimist. You say tomato. I We're say. here. What's the point in keeping our traps shut? You can't hurt to a cozy up every once in a while. There is no point here, and no room for <laughs> conversations or cozying. Bleak? Honest. I'm just trying to... Spark some life into the place, you know? Spruce up the joint with some color. There is no life here. He said lifelessly, stroking the barrel of his shotgun with his big toe. <laughs> There's no life here. What would you be doing? <laughs> Do you not understand the fundamental concept of life? Biologically. We are writing. Writing? Consciously doing something. OK, well, you know, that's life enough. Maybe not biologically, not anymore. But life does not exist. Anymore. By a certain definition, it doesn't. Life work. still is quite literally meaningless. A and not in terms of the existential bullshit that you get off on. I'm speaking practically. Now, it has no purpose. The idea of life, that, that isn't what this is. What is it then? It's meaningless, void, absent. So it matters not what you do or say to spruce up the joint with a little life, because you will be searching for a very, very long time for any such life with which to do your sprucing. A man cannot pick flowers with which to decorate a vase if he hasn't got a garden to pick from. We've got purpose. Have we? No. Yes. How? Are you kidding? I'm a grown man. I don't kid. What else would we be doing here? We're writing. Exactly. No. Why not? That is not purpose. Sure it is. Purpose is reserved for forward momentum. This is forward momentum. We've got a task. We begin. We do. We finish. Do we finish? That's the idea. Not by choice, if so. So? Purpose is reserved for forward momentum through one's own volition. One must do in order to achieve, yeah. right? Yeah, when we finish, we achieve. Uh, Achievement implies success. There, one can act prideful of success, achievement. There can be no success if there is no willingness, and there is no willingness in this. This is a chore. Life's more than a chore. This is not life. God damn it. <laughs> You're arguing yourself in the corner. Life was more than a chore. It was what it was, and that wasn't always a good thing. That's but it was your some problem. You speak for yourself and Friends, yourself alone. family, homes. Homes become memories, families become ghosts. Get out of the dark. We're we transcended that now. It's even darker here. Perpetually overcast. Zero percent chance of sunshine. This may not be life, but it's something. It's consciousness. I'm here, you're here, she's here, we're aware of it. We can still feel things, experience things. We can still remember things, you know, like what life was. We can still derive joy from memories, even little ones. You know. Driving down the street, middle of summer, a couple of girls in the back what? seat, sun beating down on your arm, hanging out the window. You're probably going to get a tan on that one and not the other, and you'll worry about it looking funny. But only for a minute. It'll fade. And then you notice the sun again, you feel it warm on your skin, you feel it on your face, and it brings you back somewhere else. The same sun that was beating down yesterday and the day before that and the day before that, before you even met those girls. And now look where you're headed that road into the sky. You have a way with words. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why you're here? Yeah? You speak with such privilege. And? 
Don't. Aren't we? Here by privilege? Yes. We are here because of what we were not and what we did not do. But I did what I thought was it right. It wasn't enough. Who are you to decide what's right and what's wrong? No one, nor are you. It's my work. I'm allowed to do that. It's that how I That isn't what this is. What is this then? Literature is about interpretation, not rightness or wrongness. You're talking it isn't about black and white. You're talking about the finished product, what people get out of it in the end? Sure. That isn't the argument. That's all that matters. All you care about is them? We've already established how little I care about anybody. Well, you don't write for yourself, then. What do we write for if not for others to read? But what you write isn't personal. Barely. Really? If it were, I wouldn't give it to them. So you don't... You don't give a shit about any of the stuff you've done. Once again, raising the topic of my caring about anything will yield the same conclusions. You aren't clever. I'm not trying to be. You're trying to be clever, pretending like you don't like anyone. You're so I don't need bullshit. to like anyone, and I don't need to be liked. Relationships between humans should be out of necessity, utility. Anything else, and you're, well, you're consigning yourself to failure. Well, what about love? The one you love either leaves or dies. That's a hell of a way to live your life. And here we are. I lived my life, and I did what I thought was right. Oh, you are no one to determine what is right and what is wrong any more than I am or any more than she is. But you're here, which means that someone did and found you in the wrong. I didn't have enough time. You did this to yourself. You did it to yourself. I made a decision, calculated, deliberate. You drove yourself off your own <gasps> damn cliff, off the road you laid and paid for yourself in circles. And guess what? The edge caught up to you. Yeah, the easy way out. What was that? You took the easy way. You took the lazy way. Hurry, coward child. Crotchety fuck. Oh, crotchety fuck. Can I use that in my Don't title? defer. Oh, defer. With humor. You started the name call. You made it easy. Deferral would imply I have any stake in this argument. Oh, you're in this deep. Oh, you dragged me here. What, admitting defeat? What, are you finished? Are you? Repetitive. Fight me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Being here is not Good God, now I know how you you started it. And you have to finish it? Yes. You are such a goddamn man. Thank you. You're no more a man than she is. I think I struck it. I am tired Mommy, of you. Mommy, Daddy, stop fighting. You mind your own damn self. I can't take it. Mind your own self. We have Just to sit because together you never speak, speak up about anything. Just because I don't speak up about anything doesn't mean I don't have anything to say. Could have fooled me. Your arguments are so superficial and childish that I think it best just to stay out of it and let you two tire yourselves out. Mommy and Daddy fighting at the table. Daddy finally threw the broccoli at Mommy. Mommy had it coming. Hang on a minute. Oh, naturally. <laughs> Macho man! <laughs> <laughs> you even throw like a woman. your home life was like? I didn't throw tea in my father's face as a child, if that's what you're asking. No, oh, that would have been too resilient. I'm getting lost in this metaphor. You? Lost in a metaphor? Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I did what I had to. The perfect loving family. You made your bed. His and mine. Want to snuggle up? I'd rather be. What? Dead. Was that a joke? Are you? Am I what? A joke. Is that all you see me as? You know, I thought you were smart, but then I realized you don't finish your sentences. My sentences? So to speak. What do you mean? What do you mean I don't finish? Hang on a second. That's not what I was trying to argue. You can barely tell a good joke, much less finish a sentence. I I'm surprised anyone let you write in the first place. I could tell another one. Only if it's about a carpenter. Carpenter walks into a bar. Says Al. Realizes he hung it too low. As I was saying. That you were saying something? <laughs> Being here is, is not, not a choice. No. Profound. Existing here is not a choice. He's pushing those boundaries. Damn it, woman, being here is what are you not. getting out of proving this? Being story? here. You are to get to a point eventually. Being Otherwise, here I'm is not. Again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> being here is not a choice. It's not. It may have been a choice we all made to exit whatever you want to call the mess before all this, but we did not choose to come here. 
This is where we ended up. Do not state obvious facts and masquerade them as intellect, and do not act prideful over something over which you had no control. I didn't- There's your fucking point. I didn't choose to oh, exit. Don't keep telling yourself that. And I'm not arguing that it wasn't a well, choice. it's hard to tell. What is? What you're arguing. What I'm arguing? You, you, you are so goddamn disorganized with your words that I can hardly put any investment in what you say to pay off with any actual significance. You stream of consciousness the bullshit. The argument was about you meaning. Motor mouth. The argument. Do you learn to shut your goddamn mouth? The argument mouth. was about meaning. <laughs> what about it? Jesus Christ. Who? Ours. Yours. And yours. And her? Leave me out. You're here. You don't have a choice. Well, topical. Just because we're dead doesn't mean we don't mean anything. Who are you trying so hard to mean something to? Ourselves. Why do you care? I had a whole life before this. It meant more of a damn than yours did, that's for sure. Oh, you want to have a pissing contest? Whip it out, pretty boy. <laughs> life means something. You can't invalidate that, even now. Tell me. How much did life mean to you before? This is where it spat you out. That is the end of the pessimistic rainbow. End of the cynicism. Oh, please. I didn't say it wasn't valid. We just don't need to be reminded exactly uh, he why does. we're here, nor should we disregard what we had before. Well, you can hold on to your memories and your meaning for as long as you like, but eventually you will have to come to face the fact that there is nothing to look forward to here. What good is being dead and knowing it if we haven't got anything to look forward that to? That is exactly what being dead is. It is the opposite of alive, the opposite of purpose, the opposite of reality. Being dead is the opposite of being. It doesn't negate what we had before. What we had before. Yes. Our lives. Yes. The one you enjoyed so much. And you. I went out with a bang, you with a whimper, as they say. Insolent. Honest. Unnecessary. Honest. Is that all you've got, honesty? Honesty is all one needs. I don't agree. I don't care. Discretion. It's logical. It's not pertinent. It's part of the honest sensibility. Bedside manner. It's circumstantial. And for doctors. White lies. Are for cowards. Do you have an answer to everything? Yes. <laughs> Words are the weapon of choice. If they're what we've got now. Speak for yourself. Words are spoken, and for a while we remember them. But eventually, uh, they disappear out of space, which is strange, really, because we've got this enormous vocabulary, you know, this huge capacity to, to remember and access all that nonsense, and, and that's what it is, nonsense. Random squiggles and shapes that we can feed from and manipulate to express what we're feeling inside, but, but as soon as you String them together. You know, an actual attempt at achieving something, it's only a matter of time before, you know, in one ear and out the other, they, they evaporate. No matter how bold, how certain, how proud, as if they were never there, like fairy dust falls upwards into the sky, glistens in the sun, gone forever in the stars. Write them down, though. That cement. We all disappear. What are you doing? That is the first real thing I heard you say. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> touch them. They in order? Of course they don't touch them. I'm not going to. Oh, you ever gonna drink that? What? This. What? Eventually. Mind if I? Leave it. What is it? Leave it. Oh, too good for me? 
You know, Faulkner drank when he wrote. And? You could tell. <laughs> sometimes in the exact page, sometimes the exact paragraph, sometimes in the middle of the exact line, you could tell. There's the third goddamn mint julep. It's a waste of a good drink and of a good mind. So I'm the asshole having a nip while I'm working? Last I checked, you weren't working. Must have stepped out. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know what? Maybe. All right. I'm just thinking. I, I mean, don't care. Well, maybe. I, I mean, really don't care. What are we doing here? Are you kidding? No. Haven't we been through this? Humor me. What are we doing here? Writing. Thank you. Yes. Why? Because we have to. Says who? That's the way it is. Bullshit. Apparently not. Apparently, yes. What? What if we aren't, uh... Yes. You know, um... I'm certain that I don't. <laughs> just think about it. I would, if I knew what it was. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. I'm not, I'm not trying to be difficult, I'm just, uh... Yeah, I don't know, it's, uh... You're losing me. No, this thing that, this thing that we're here for, maybe it's all just some sort of, uh... The conviction with which you speak is astounding. <laughs> I'm trying to propose a theory and not sound like an idiot. You're doing a bang-up job. Well, if you let me finish. I, I can't say I'm sure that you've started. What if we aren't... What if we aren't dead? Come again? What if we're not dead? Uh, no, no, d don't reiterate. I, I heard you. Say something else that makes sense. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. That's your theory? Yes. And you're quite certain you've tried your hardest not to sound like a complete idiot. What I'm getting at is, what are we doing here? Oh, Jesus Christ. You've already asked that. And you didn't answer it. We're writing. But why? Do you have the answer in your back pocket, or are you just dangling us with this purposeless <laughs> line of questioning? Why are we here writing? We're doing what we didn't do before. We're being punished? Are you asking? Propose it. It's very bold. It's true. Is it? Prove that it is. Prove that it is. Either way, it's valid. I still don't follow. We're here. Why? Why are we being punished, and by who? By whom? What? Who? Are you fucking you serious? You barely have <laughs> to as it is. I'm not going to sit here and wait through another pissing contest. He's being a bastard. You. Or don't. I, hey, fuck you. This is important, okay? What, what we're doing here, you know, this, this thing that we're supposed to do, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not a real thing. I mean, it is a real thing, but not really real, you know? Not really. I mean, novels are tangible, yeah, but... But this task that we're supposed to accomplish, I mean, it's, fuck it, why bother? It's what we do. And it's supposed to be great, though? I mean, what the fuck is that, you know? Who's to decide what's great and what's not? Not us. Then how are we supposed to do it? It's, a, it's an impossible task. You're not supposed to do it. What are we supposed to do, then? You, you, you don't get it. You don't accomplish something great. You don't create a great story and a great character, you create a story and a character, and if someone likes it enough to make a big fuss about it, then bully for you. And how are we supposed to do that? Start by writing one true sentence. One isn't enough. Start. You have to go on and on. You have to go on and on. And, and how are you supposed to know if, it, if it's done, if it's Be breaking? brief. It is the golden rule, the, the only rule. That isn't it. I mean, what, you're just supposed to keep going around and around, starting over, finishing, doing every... It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it shouldn't be like this. But it is. But it shouldn't be. Tough shit. We're dogs chasing our tails. Well, what does that mean? It means what it means. Now you're starting to sound like him. He's not one. One what? A dog. What is he, then? A lion. <laughs> A cowardly lion. Suit yourself, Scarecrow. <laughs> Fuck you. This is important, okay? <laughs> you are so sentimental. Of course I am. I'm a human being. Well... Unlike you, fucking machine. Well, well oiled and properly functioning. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Define great for me. That's what I am trying to tell you. You don't accomplish something great. It either is or it isn't black and white. What? Okay. Okay. Hey, what about people? What makes them great? What about them? How do they become great if they don't make it for themselves? You really are quite thick. You know that? If curiosity is thick, then I'm the whitest house in the room. You? You hear yourself when you speak? Marlon Brando! 
What? Marlon Brando! What about him? He's great. Sure. So? So he didn't go out there one morning and say, I'm gonna go out there and be great. <laughs> He's inherently talented, thus people decided to call him great. Shakespeare. Over it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, not him. I'm talking about James him. Joyce. Yeah. Don't say that. Sure. Leo Tolstoy. What is it you're getting at? Do you think any of them sat down and knew what it was they were about to accomplish? What, what was about to become of their addiction to language? Half of them were insane. The, the other half were asleep. You don't try. You make yourself correct, re readable, free of folly. That's all anyone can do. That's not enough. I mean, they must have known that they were onto something. Anyone who knows they're great, thinks they're great, will die a stray dog, I can tell you that. Anyone who tries too hard with, with an awareness of what it is they're supposed to accomplish, will crash and burn, I can promise you that. Harper Lee. What? Harper Lee. Exactly. What about her? To Kill a Mockingbird. It's good. It's great. It's fine. Really? You know how you top one of the greatest novels of all you, time? You try. You don't. There's an expectation. Uh, from them? Yes. Fuck them. It's pressure. It's this immeasurable pressure to write something great. You are so concerned with something being great. I, bottom line, it never will be. You do what you do, and if someone calls it great, congratulations, here's a goddamn medal. It's, it's no, no, but what we're, what we're doing, what we're... It isn't achieving anything. I mean, you said it yourself. Maybe, maybe you didn't hit it quite right. Not yet, but this, you know, this fucking thing. I, Jesus, I don't know. It's all tuckered out. Let me think. By all means. Uh, okay. Okay. What if this is a trick? <laughs> a trick? Yes. What kind of a trick? A magic trick? No. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I'm, no, no. I'm no. thinking of a number. Not like that. <laughs> Humor me. It was seven. <laughs> we're here until we finish these things? Yes. So, we're stuck until we're finished writing them, but for who? I mean, who is it for? Not them, right? So what is it? I mean, what are we doing here? If it's not for, who's going to read it? Why would we be here? It is what it is. Entertain the idea for one moment that I'm right. I still don't follow what it is you're suggesting to be right He's about. He's proposing that we're still alive. What? Yes. Held hostage. Maybe. Jesus Christ. Maybe. Are you sure? Of course not. That conviction. It's a theory. I can't be then sure. Then why should we believe? It's not a matter then of why believing. why should we care? Why wouldn't we be alive? Are you kidding me? No. Are you tired? What? Are you tired? No. Hungry? No. Horny? No. You're dead. <laughs> okay, fine. That's, that's fair. So then why are we dead? Because we died, you incredible dimwit. Stop being literal. Stop being literal. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I am real, therefore I am literal. No! No, you're not real. You said that yourself. You did. You can't be real and dead. You are the opposite of being. Uh, the opposite of reality. You are the opposite of real. Living is real, dead is... Uh, are you suggesting now that this isn't actually happening? No, that's not well, what I'm Well, no, get your story straight. I know that it's real. That's I, why. But I don't know that. Know what? That you know. That I know? That it's real. My consciousness? Yes. Oh. See? No. How can you be aware of it? Right. So, so how can you know if it's real? Exactly. Not bad. I know. But wrong. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. It's not. It, it is. Shall I get out a ruler? <laughs> I know that this is happening for me, from me, the same as it's happening for you. But we can, we can never know that of each other. It's nature, psychology, whatever you want to call it. Therefore, you are wrong. Child's play, next theory. A dream. Pardon? A dream. Oh, fuck me. Excuse me? That's it? Yeah. That's the best you can come up with. Why not? You, you almost had me on your side. Why not? Th this Why not? Because, okay, <coughs> which one of us is dreaming then? I am, obviously. Oh, obviously. But first of all, it's my theory. I could dream up you spouting nonsense. Second of all, you're too antagonistic. Well, what about her? Too background. Gee, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you're dreaming. I could be. No, wake up. If I could, I would. Wake up! <laughs> 
If it were that easy, don't you think <laughs> I would have done it by now? It is that easy. Once one realizes they're in a dream, it's not soon before long. They find themselves unable to remain. That's not necessarily true. that thing pinch yourself to see if you're dreaming? That's not. Jesus. You awake? Oh my God. Wake up, Johnny boy. Jesus. You still think you're dreaming? You son of a bitch. Enough. All right, then. All right. What do you suggest, then? I am not the one suggesting that this Enlighten is me, then! Enlighten me! I'm not me. the coward. Oh, I'm the coward. Well, you've always been the coward. What makes you so much coward? I am not the one afraid of my own goddamn well, give me a break. When I'm already You dead. can't honestly tell me I you don't worry. You're afraid you don't fuck yourself. You fucking know you're it all. Afraid. You're, you're damn right I'm afraid. afraid. You're afraid. You don't get to decide what's real and what's not. And you do? Maybe, but you sure That's as hell your don't. opinion. Thank you. My it's opinion? It's always riveting. All you do is spout your opinions. Then you parade them around like fact, philosophical bullshit, 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 bullshit. Look at me, big fucking man. Look how smart I am. Look at my shotgun. Look at my mustache. Spinning your opinions around your word choice like they were scripture. I am flattered that you're intimidated. I am by not me. intimidated. That's all I by wanted to hear, son. Enough with the philosophy. You know you're so clever and you're a bully. You think you're clever and you're so smug. And it just so happens you can speak the loudest of all of us. I speak the loudest because I am not afraid. Oh, because you're you, because, because you're because honest. Because I'm real. Enough with the philosophy. Oh boy, shit. don't you tell me. What okay, I tell me then. What is real? Oh, it's a ridiculous question. Oh, you seem to me like you're the expert. Know how oh, you don't know? Uh, no, you don't know? Tell me, you don't know something, finish. and you admit that you don't, don't know you it. Show Come on, the real is. please, I'm dying to know. What is that? Real is the blood running out of your nose and seeping through the spaces between your teeth. Real is the anger that's spinning around in your ears and filling up in your neck like smoke. Real is the tightness in that fist that you'd like to toss at his head if it weren't for the little stars spinning around yours. Real is what drives you. Real is what elicits such a response from your fingertips that it jams your typewriter. You can go back and forth all day, all night, forever, arguing about what is real and what is not. What's real to you is not real to me, and what's real to me is not real to you, no matter how hard you wish to understand it all. We can dance around each other's heads for an eternity, screaming at each other's faces, chewing each other up and spitting each other out, throwing books at each other. Real is your God in the sky that doesn't talk back, the man behind the curtain who doesn't pull the strings. Real is everywhere, somewhere. Nowhere, here, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when, real doesn't matter. All that matters is what is. What you're feeling right now in this room, this place, that's real. And it's why you'll always be here. Why we're here. What is it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> 